With the world you hanging on every word, leaders in charge of finding the missing 239 people aboard Flight 370 continue to have problems staying on the same page. In China, Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott makes the most encouraging statement yet. We have very much narrowed down the search area, and we are very confident uh, that the signals that we are detecting are from the black box. But just a few hours later, the Australian Chief Search Coordinator rolls back expectations, saying there has been no major breakthrough in the search for MH370. The seemingly mixed message is an ongoing problem in the now 35-day mystery that produces clues without conclusions and raises hopes without results, like this statement from the Malaysian government on Monday. We continue to hope and pray. That was a full two weeks after all hope was officially lost. Families were bluntly informed by a text message, no survivors. Do you think the Malaysians being broken their houses? No, of course not. They hide so many things. They cannot explain even the most impossible things. They cannot explain it. So I think there must be something that was hiding. Blatant contradictions damaged credibility. A week ago, Malaysian officials said the criminal investigation cleared the passengers. As we have said earlier, only the passengers have been cleared. But just yesterday, another about face. This time on Britain's Sky News, the Malaysian acting transportation manager says everyone on board remains under suspicion. There are cultural differences. There are times when we are lost in translation. And we're learning through this process. And they cannot say that we were we must handle it perfectly. And yet, the simplest facts are subject to change. The last contact with Flight 370, once believed to be the co-pilot suspiciously saying, all right, good night, is now reported to be the pilot, issuing a standard good night Malaysian 370. As the physical search presses on, the only certainty is there is still no way to determine how or why. Breaking news to the Malaysia Airlines plane carrying 239 people bound for Beijing is missing. This is president reporting a minute ago that Vietnam and Vietnamese Air Force planes had spotted two oil slicks. What appeared to be clues had been debunked. The giant oil slick spotted in the South China Sea was tested, but results show it was not from the missing jetliner. Investigators offering more details on two men who boarded the plane with stolen passports, confirming that their fingerprints and photos are being sent to American authorities to compare them against records of known terrorists and criminals. Once again, there's the very latest receipt, just really the last hour. I'm told by a U.S. official that there are more and more indications that the loss of MH370 was not terror related. We have just learned this new information that the plane was way off course when it went missing. This information is coming to us from a senior Malaysian Air Force official. They have traced the last signs of the plane to a very small island in the Straits of Malacca. Right now, we don't know if the satellite images released by a Chinese government website today are pictures of the missing plane or not. But this is important because the location of this suspected debris is in an area fairly close to the intended flight path of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, the missing plane. This much we know for sure that six days, not one piece of debris, not one piece of debris has actually been found. Here. Searchers now say nothing has been found in the area where Chinese satellite images appeared to show floating debris. In fact, the Chinese embassy now says those images were in fact released by mistake. The Wall Street Journal broke the news this morning that, quote, based on data automatically downloaded and sent to the ground from the plane's engines, based on that engine data, American investigators believe that the Malaysia Airlines flight, quote, stayed in the air for about four hours, past the time it reached its last confirmed location. Malaysia officials now confirm that uh, two key communication systems were shut down separately 14 minutes apart. There are no hard answers, only theories, some a lot more plausible than others. Imaginations are running wild around the globe, but we need to solve this maddening mystery.